Oh, you picked the dirty corner to have your baby. Good job. Good job, Katie. I just... Oh no, that's a foot. Oh, that's a face. Okay, I'm not gonna film this because I'm gonna help her. So, she's doing great. We'll come back later. Katie had her first lamb and it's black. Good job, Katie. She's still doing the afterbirth. And Katie, why? I have one spot in the whole barn that's the junk spot. I've got my trailer or my truck back now. So this is the junk spot where I'm gonna fill the truck because by the drop chute. So you picked the worst spot. But you're doing so good. I wiped the baby's nose to make sure she could breathe. I'm all covered in afterbirth. But I wanted to make sure the baby was breathing before. I didn't bring towels or anything. I just thought that maybe she'd lamb. But I didn't think I'd catch her in act. Oh my gosh, what is this thing, huh, Katie? She's so she's still kind of stunned. She'll figure it out. Katie. She'll figure it out. See, she's licking her lips because she she knows. They lick their baby's faces. But I, with her being a first-time mom, I wanted to clear that airway and not wait for Katie to do it. <laughs> what is that? All farms come to see. Huh. Good job. We don't even know if it's a boy or a girl yet. I just wanted, I wanted to help Katie out. Oh, good job, baby. And, and birds are messy, so yeah, birthing is messy. Oh, you are so strong. Oh, good job. Oh, you're trying to figure out who your mom is. Don't worry, Katie's still in, she still hasn't passed the afterbirth or kind of, there's going to be a little bit of Hey, sweeties. It's going to be a little bit of pain still that she's working on. I'm not going to show you that. Um, she's still going to pass the afterbirth, so she's still working on stuff. So she'll come back. Don't worry. And I'll just kind of... I don't want to clean up her baby because I want it to still smell like her so that when she comes back to it, she realizes it's her baby. But I have cleaned the mouth so that it definitely can... It's breathing and doing just fine, but it looks like a mess. But you don't clean them up for the moms. You let them do their thing. Aww. So I'll come back when this little baby is clean and I'll tell you what gender it is. But right now, right now mama's not quite done yet. So, oh my goodness, you're so strong. Look at you. Oh my goodness. You're only like one minute old. And you're already trying to walk and catch up to your mom. I hope you're a girl. I've, I lost Elska, my black lamb. And I've wanted a black you for so long. I hope you're a girl. Oh, you're so cute and little. Okay, we'll come back when the baby looks better. She's okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna hold her at her butt so she doesn't tear. Yeah, over. don't. Yeah, hold her butt. So she... Oh my gosh, she's doing her great. First time, she's doing amazing. Good job, you know what? She's such a fluffy head. <laughs> her body is like so thin. Yeah, that's because <laughs> she needs wet. some, and she needs some food. Her tummy needs some food. Then she won't be so skinny. Yeah, she is really silvery. You can see it on her undercarriage. Yeah. Better. Yeah. She might be a really silver. She's got black head and legs though. It's okay, and some white. Oh, is that? Are you done for a minute? Okay. okay we'll see. She, she can, can stand. stand. Oh, yeah, she, she can fly. 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 She's doing really good. Hi, oh, Dweebie. She's actually a lot darker than she looks. She looks like, yeah, more like this color now. Like this really dark, almost black gray. And, oh, there she is. Hello, darling. And she has at the roots almost like this white, which is what her grandma was like. Oh, you going to sit with me? Okay. You're taking after her grandma only. Her dad is the one who's gray. Lila, come here. Good job, Lila. Lila's been taking care of her. 
You're a good mom, Lila. <laughs> Alright, Lila, I think she's clean. Thank you. Good job, baby. Good job. You're so cute. Yeah. Oh, you're so cute. We gave her a bottle. So she's had a bottle of her mom's milk. I milked her mom because her mom didn't want to feed her. So I milked her mom out and then fed her the bottle. Hey, sweetheart. You're going to be my baby, huh? I'll take care of you. Katie doesn't really want to be a mom. So I'm feeding her baby. She was only somewhat interested in her. But mostly not. This is an old dog kennel. Hi, Katie. This is an old dog kennel where she's going to be out here with the sheep that protected. And then I've been milking Katie and then bottle feeding her baby. So we'll see how she does her first night in her little wire kennel. This is an old kennel that got broken. I had to tie it back together. Hey sweetie. Are you fine? You've got plenty of hay and it's a warm night. Yeah. Oh and you got friends. I did put this board here next to it. And I am going to put a board up against this side too, just to kind of close her in a little bit more so there's no draft. But it's inside the barn, it's inside, and she's got hay, and it's going to be a warm night, so she'll be fine. She's got a good fleece, she's dry, she's not cold. She'll do just fine. We'll check on her in the, and we'll check on her in the morning. Hey, Katie. Hey, sweetie. Katie's letting me milk her, which is nice. I feed her some little bits of grains. Look how pretty she looks now that she's dry. She's got like this silver, like half her fleece. The inside half of her fleece is silver and then the tip of it is dark gray. But yeah, she'll do just fine. I don't need to worry about her. She'll be okay here. And then she won't be making the bathroom a disaster. Huh, pooper? That's okay. If we poop a lot, it means that a lot is going through us, and that's good. So, yeah, I think she'll curl up in this hay. I filled it pretty thick. So, you know, some spots it's got six inches of hay on the bottom of the kennel, and other spots it has more and less, you know. But, anyway, she'll be fine. She'll nestle into that hay once she settles down. I'll turn off lights. Everybody's going to go to bed. And then we'll feed her first thing in the morning. You going to lay down right there? You're already pawing at it. She's already going to start making a bed. Yeah, go ahead and make yourself a bed. Okay, we'll check on you in the morning. Good night. <coughs> Good morning, darling. We milked her mom, and she milked a ton. That is a lot of milk. <coughs> huh. That's a lot of milk your mama gave you. For whatever reason, my Shetlands milk a ton of milk for how little they are. Alright, let's feed you, baby. <coughs> Hello, little one. I'm currently milking her mom about four times a day and then giving her about half a bottle of milk each time. And I have added a tiny bit of goat milk to it if I didn't feel like it was enough. But for the most part, it's been enough. You are so cute, little. So cute! Welcome to the farm. She's still figuring out the bottle. Let me just hold her still. She keeps backing up. I know, she does. She's she's learning. She's getting it. So she drank about half of that, which is good. We don't want to mess up the balance. The balance in her stomach. Hi, sweetheart. So we'll come back out in a little while. Oh, she wants to go free. Let her go. We'll come back out in a little bit and give her the other half, like an hour or two. And then later I'll milk her mom again. 
that way she doesn't we don't mess up the balance in her belly and then she, she still has mama milk for later so yeah I think it's kind of crazy that these Shetlands do so well here's here's her mom she's a good sheep I don't have any problems with her but the fact that it's her first time and she doesn't really want to be a mom is kind of a downside but that's okay I mean that's okay look at this beautiful thing she gave me <laughs> she's so beautiful we'll let her run around for a little bit and watch that the ewes don't pick on her and then we'll put her back in this little kennel so she's out here with everybody but nobody can pick on her and then we'll come back and check on her in a little bit how oh, beautiful Have you nursed already? You can't. Oh. Hello, baby. Sweetheart. How are you, darling? <laughs> hey, Bonnie. Given her her space because we wanted to take care of her lamb. She's been a she's a really good mom, so don't really need to worry. <laughs> the other ewes are nice too. They're just not going to let the lamb try to nurse off of them. Let's see, thank you, Katie. That was a very sweet way of saying nope. I'm not your mom without being a jerk. <laughs> that was pretty gentle. No, that was still pretty gentle because that lamb is so just barely stood up and she didn't. She didn't knock her over, or him over. It looks like it's a boy, but I'll get a closer look later. I'm just letting her, letting her do her thing because she's a really good mom. She's well proven to take great care of her lambs. And this one's big, Daphne. This lamb's tall. He's gonna have to duck down to nurse. Aww. <laughs> Oh, good job. He's so cute. still very upset I know he had something I've never seen before here turn him around for a second we'll show him. he's freaking out because we just scrubbed his butt but I've never seen this before but his poop right here dried out and it glued his tail down and he couldn't poop at all so we just scrubbed him and got the poop off of him and he's just angry because he just spent 30 minutes in the sink getting his butt scrubbed but he doesn't understand is it <laughs> Is oh my gosh, he's very angry. What he doesn't understand is that we just saved his life. We just saved your life, mister. I know you're so angry. I think you're mostly just terrified. It's okay. It's okay. We'll settle down in a second. There we go. There we go. Let's look at that adorable face. There he is. <laughs> like, don't look at my face. Oh, it's okay, baby. 
It'll be okay. It'll be okay. There we go. We're starting to settle down a little bit. We'll settle down a little bit. I've never seen that before, so I guess we live in that area of the planet. black wool. It's so painful to knit with black wool. I just love it still. So I might keep him for his fleece as well. 